Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. And let's get to talking about this product. Many of you remember in the yesteryear of Snack Attackers, Whole Foods released three sandwich themed chips. And I got all of them but one. And I sang a beautiful, beautiful song that no one can ever forget. It went a little... Pastrami on rye, you're why I cry. Yeah, and I know you all loved it. Well, I never found them. But, Kroger coming in clutch, because though it is not pastrami on rye, it's actually my favorite sandwich, which is a Reuben sandwich. Which is a pastrami on rye, but also sauerkraut and Thousand Isle dressing. So, you know, just a little bit even better. These are kettle cooked Reuben sandwich flavored potato chips. Not many people have done a Reuben flavored potato chip and they have not been my favorite, unfortunately. It's really hard to capture everything that a Reuben has in a chip, mainly because the sauerkraut offers sour, but it's also like this texture difference. And, you know, it's just, I haven't found a particularly fantastic one. This was purchased at Mariano's and I, I had the receipt. Jason, what are you doing? Jason! What are you doing? Producer, can you tell me what I'm doing? Yeah, I don't know either. Anyway, let's get to it. Kroger has recently, well, they're always releasing new and interesting flavors. Um, they had a Cuban not too far ago that uh, was fine. And they have, I think Chicken Tikka Masala is new. I saw it, but I wasn't sure if it was new or not, so I didn't get it. If you guys could tell me if it's new. I mean, I could look it up, but, like, I don't wanna. <laughs> ah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Alrighty. We got them open. Let's give them the old smell test. Well, they just smell like potato chips. No other se Well, a little bit of that Thousand Isle, maybe? Also, wow, Kroger is skimping out on chips. This is, this is where it's filled to. That is shockingly small. Look at that. Gosh, I'm, I'm disgusted. All right, let's get a few. You know how we do with chips. I mean, kettle usually won't have to, but yeah, I just, I don't think it's gonna be a distinct flavor. The Kroger chips have had a really unique thing in that they do a lot of interesting flavors, but frequently that flavor just does not come across, which is a bummer. Man, I love Reuben sandwiches. The first time I ever had a Reuben sandwich was at like an Arby's with my mom, and I was like, oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? Arby's, because no one ever goes to Arby's. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this. Three, two, I'm going to stop saying already. I interrupted the count just to tell you that. Three, two, one, snack attack. Wow, what a cool flavor journey, but small things. Firstly, the first flavor is that acidity from what would be the sauerkraut. The crunch is replicating the sauerkraut pretty nicely. Mouthfeel, that's pretty nice. Then you get Thousand Isle, definitely for sure. You get that dressing. Also, I think it's Thousand Island. I've been saying Thousand Isle, but I think it might be Thousand Island. I'm not sure. Editor, could you, could you, just, could you do your thing? Thanks. Um, yeah, you get the very distinct thousand whatever flavor, you get that sauerkraut. The last flavor you get, the, the final flavor is of the rye bread. What's missing in that sandwich and that description? The pastrami. Unfortunately, there's really no pastrami flavor. And you might be saying, well, what do you kind of want with that pastrami flavor? Weirdly, it doesn't have the saltiness that the pastrami brings. Which is interesting, because you would- I mean, surely there's a ton of sodium in here. Like, I don't have to look to know, but I'm going to. Oh! Oh my gosh. There's not. There's 10% of your daily value for every 10 chips. I think it's only like 15 or something for these sorts of chips. So weirdly enough, they did skimp out on the salt. Probably for vinegar. For that flavor. Wow, this is absolutely fascinating. Um, they are really good. 
they're just missing the mark just a touch. They're better than, I think Lay's did a Ruben or something, and I was like, oh, it was terrible. But this is, this is passable. It has a lot of the characteristics of a Ruben, misses the mark just, just by a hair. Uh, that being said, it's still going to be a Smack Attack Yas for me. I, did, did I just glitch? I, I like saw like a, anyway, it's going to be a Snack, I said I was going to stop saying anyway. Whoops. It's going to be a Snack Attack Yas for me. Out of 10, it's pretty good. It's just missing the mark just a hair. Let me give it another try to like mull it over. I mean, it's so good. It's gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. It is very close to that nine and that 10, but oddly enough, it needs more salt, which is not something I pretty much ever say about any chip, like ever, even chips I've made. I'm not like, oh, this needs more salt. Like it's, it's really good, but it is just missing just a, just a, just a touch. I don't know what's going on. But the question we ask around here is not, how long can I keep a bit going where I get progressively a higher and higher voice and nobody uh, gets upset about it? No. The question we ask around here is, would you buy it again? And the answer is, yeah, probably. I really like Rubens, guys. Like, it's my favorite sandwich. Well, okay. I have a tie of two favorite sandwiches, and it's Ruben... And either Croc Madame or Croc Monsieur, I don't remember which it is, but something about it, a, a ham, cheese, fried sandwich, I'm just like, give me that. Give me that sandwich. I know I've said I like Cubans, but I, I definitely, since a lot of times when I get out of a restaurant, I can't get it without the honey mustard, and I don't like honey mustard, that kind of knocks it out. Um, Rubens are my favorite. Like, I love Rubens. I'm sorry, like, I've just been gushing about Rubens this whole time. But, because I didn't have the pastrami on rye, this is- Oops, I forgot to say that I'm not working out anymore. Ooh, you thought I was working out for three hours. Nope, just two. <laughs> uh, just two. <laughs> you- Whoops. <laughs> oh, man, that is- What a gaff. Anyway, oh, stop saying anyway. <laughs> Remember to check the Instagram, Twitter, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Anyway. <laughs>